We've transitioned from carrying the child to dragging the child. Are you enjoying your Christmas day? It's actually really nice. Look at the bolts. Yep, you know, work never ends, huh? Let's see the other side that we have to take. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Our new home security system. The light just fell off the roof this morning. Made such this huge noise, we all jumped and looked up. It sounded like the roof was about to fall on our heads. Yeah, that's a big piece. I'm gonna have to break that one to lift it. Yeah, there's no way. Good job. Yeah. Oh, poop. So we just went down the road to have a bit of a uh, bit of a bonfire at the, at the end of our driveway on the road with the, all the neighbours. And uh, someone left the the back of the truck open. Someone being me. And there was a propane tank in there when we left. Um, so I'm gonna go find it. That 
Looks like it. Thank God the beer didn't fall out of the back of the truck. Hello everyone, um, today is a rainy, snowy, snow rain, I don't even know the word for it, day out here in Newport, Washington. Um, so on last few of our videos, I briefly went over that I'll talk a little bit about finances on our channel. So since it's winter and there's not much really to do, I thought this would be a nice series to go over, you know, how can you do this for your family? How can you get out here on your land? What does it take? Um, so here we go, without further ado. The first topic I wanted to go through is finances. So we're gonna talk about what kind of strategies there are and what options there are for you. It's funny, and this is probably the conspiracy theorist version of myself, but um, you know, once you start getting into this idea and lifestyle and researching it, you'll start to notice that there really aren't a lot of mainstream options for you to get fin like financing to get into this, right? So um, without further ado, we'll get started. And don't mind me as I look off into my computer to get you more details. So I think it's really important that everyone understands you need cash. You do, you need some money in the bank to help you get a deposit on your land or purchase your land outright. Um, that's, you just have to have it because these things are not, you cannot get loans to do some of the things that we're doing out here, especially in an off-grid situation. So to start with, I'll tell you a little bit about how we did it. So we owned a house in Southern California and we sold that house. Um, we walked away with about $160,000 and we used that money to get us here. So our land, um, we're on 21 and a half acres. It's probably more on the expensive side. We're, uh, we're closer to town, but that was something that was pretty important for us. So we spent $163,000 on the property itself. So it doesn't take a mathematician to make you realize that, you know, the cost of our land was more than the money we had in the bank. So what we decide to do and what your first option is when looking at land would be a land loan. And that's what we did. So we put a down payment on the land loan then used the cash that we had to reinvest that in creating access, putting up a building and all the other projects that we've done in the last seven months. And we'll go over that a little bit more um, on my next videos to talk about logistics on your property. So with the land loans, keep in mind that land loans are not a permanent loan solution for you. So typically they are, after five years, the interest rate will start to fluctuate. So you'll have a fixed interest rate for five years, and then that interest rate would fluctuate. It's called an arm loan, so, because it fluctuates. Anyways, so if you're going to do the land loan, it's not a permanent solution. You're gonna have to either pay that loan off quickly or figure out another way to refinance that loan. We know that we're going to build a house um, and the house size that we're building is not going to, you know, we're not gonna have the cash for that. So eventually we will have a construction loan and that's kind of the next thing as I roll into here. So there are construction loans depending on your state. Um, you can get it from a local credit union, but basically with that construction loan, while you're in the construction process, you can uh, pay the interest off at that loan and then it gets refinanced into a regular mortgage. Now, obviously these are not ideal for people that want to be 100% debt free, but again, in the perfect world, sometimes you can't do that. You, you know, you have to go through these measures in order to get yourself to a place where you want to be. Sometimes that means loaning out money. Um, with the construction loan, you can pull your land loan into that loan and then it's all combined under one mortgage later on as you go. Uh, I get a lot of questions about the USDA loan. So when you're in a rural area, USDA loans make a lot of sense because you can get lower interest rates. Um, however, it 
the homes already have to be built. So if you're looking at buying raw land and building, that would not be a solution for you. Um, so to talk about a little bit of our situation and how much we spent in total in the last seven months, that's after putting our down payment on our land. Um, so for us to do our, let's see, purchase total. Um, so for us to do our buy a trailer, buy a generator, we bought a storage shed, we put in an 800 foot road, we built the, or we had the pad cleared for the shed, built the shed or the shop. <laughs> it's not really a shed, it's a huge shop. Uh, we built the 1200 square foot shop. Uh, we purchased a vehicle for snow plowing. We bought a snow plow. We installed a septic. Um, we installed solar and we did the plumbing and electrical plumbing and electrical keep in mind in our area it was like six to months to a year out and the cost was astronomical so we did the plumbing ourselves and we had a neighbor help us do all the electrical in our building so that brings me to a grand total of a hundred and forty seven dollars a hundred and forty seven thousand dollars uh, uh, that we spent in order to get where we are now. Um, we are very comfortable. I'm not saying that the way that we've done it is the right way. We wanted a lot of creature comforts. Obviously, you can spend a lot less money um, than we have, but this is this is what we wanted, and yeah, that is the amount of money we spent. Um, this big gulp on my side is a, lot, <laughs> it's a lot of money, but again, that includes everything that you see around here. So I think it was worth the investment, um, it, to build up our property this way. And yeah, so I think on, um, the next coming series, what we'll go over is like basic logistics. So when you're looking at land, what are things you should think of, um, uh, We'll talk about your permitting options. We'll talk about cost of your road, power, septic, water. So all these things that we invested in, um, you know, what, how can you think about that when you're looking at property and trying to do this with your family? I will say, again, we invested in a lot more creature comforts. We didn't do as much ourselves, so lots of the work was contracted out. Um, but I think we are much happier now because our alternative was either having like a <laughs> doing compost toilets uh, or having like a porta potty on site for all of winter, um, which wouldn't have been comfortable. We opted to go for our solar this year, which we were going to do next year, but we thought we'd feel a lot more comfortable. And we are way happier that we did because it's dark. So. Again, a lot of these things you could probably get away with not doing, but we really wanted to do it to make it happen for us. Um, I'll pop an image up here for you to see. This is my little spreadsheet of what we spent and what we're looking to spend. So we're down to one item, <laughs> it's the well. Um, obviously I don't have our house on this because that's gonna be probably a 2024 project, but there you go, that's how much we spent for this year to get everything you see around us. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day.